Oh, hey there, people. How the frig's it going today? It is Saturday here on Vlogging Life. Uh, stayed up a little late last night, played a lot of streaming last night, went for almost five freaking hours, boys. Five freaking hours! And we had fun. It was a good stream. It was a fun time. And hung out with friends, chatted, got to bed at like 3 in the morning, woke up at 10. Anyway, I'm a little hungry. Well, when am I not hungry? I'm gonna make some eggs because that's what I make when I'm hungry, I think. I was like, oh, maybe today we'll just take it easy and you know, go for bike rides and stuff and have a good time and get our biking in or we'll see what's happening tomorrow with the weather and then Google tells me this. Tomorrow in North Bay, there'll be thunderstorms with a high of 21 and a low of 15. So because of that, maybe we should try and get a bunch of cardio in today and see if we can finish off that Strava challenge, get our trophy, and go from there. I know I said I was going to work on the Trans Am this weekend, but uh, I got some work to do. I got to. I, I want to get that. Um, I want to get the lawn cut because it's looking pretty bad out there. And if I get too long, I'm going to attract snakes, and I really don't want snakes in my yard because I freaking hate those damn things. So I figure if I keep the lawn short enough, they won't come around. And if they do, I should be able to see them and hit them with the lawnmower. That's right. I don't like them. I will fight them. I have no problems with that. So, we're going to mow the lawn today. Get that all cut. No idea when my friend's waking up. She went to bed probably after me. I went to bed at like, like I said, like 4 in the morning, somewhere around there. And she was still up when I went to bed. So, but uh, it's supposed to go to 27 today, I think. In North Bay today, expect a high of 28 and a low of 14. Yeah, so a high of 28. So, like, roast your nuts off hot. <clears throat> oh man, got a fluffy in my throat. I haven't had any coffee yet. No wonder why things feel weird. Ready, eggs are made, coffee's made. I'm gonna go eat. All right, guys, I know I look like Princess Leia and everything, but I'm not. Um, we're gonna go mow the lawn. But first, we're gonna pet the kitty because she's fluffy. She, oh, did the mouse? Oh, did the mouse? Nah. You get mal? You get mal? Goodbye. Anyway, these are the headphones I bought for work, but I don't like them because the microphone on them is garbage. But let me tell you, these headphones are amazing for music. These are the ones I bought from Walmart, not the noise cancelers. Just the regular kind. Okay, I got a pee because I had a coffee. So, like I said, we're going to be expected to have a lot of bullshit weather tomorrow. First thunderstorm of the year for us. It's kind of funny, I was just watching a video from uh, Z1 on uh, Space Engineers. Logie and I tried to play that one back in the day. And that was a mess. We didn't know what the hell we were doing. And it didn't quite work out. But he, uh, he was like... He was just going on doing his thing when all of a sudden in the background you know what i'm gonna grab these bring these out to the garage because they're the keys for the trans am we might take a look at it i'm gonna wear my gross shoes see guys i have two pairs of running shoes i have my shoes that i wear when i go places then i have my shoes that i wear when i do stupid things like those are my under armor shoes they're 60 bucks they're comfortable they fit great all that fun stuff and these are my 12 dollars 97 cent shoes from walmart that i used last year when i spray painted the uh the car they used to be black now they're overspray. Fun times. Anyway, I have no idea what I'm talking about. Oh yeah, uh, on his video, uh, is that one? He's playing along, and all of a sudden you hear ka -pa -ka -pa -dow, like a really loud thundercrack in the background, and it's like holy shit! And uh, it almost sounded like the world exploded, but it was actually a thunderstorm. So they're getting that today, wherever state he's in, and we're gonna see it tomorrow in whatever province we're in. So that's fun. So I definitely want to get my chores done and over with before we can go out and have fun on bikey. So, all right, I'm gonna get this shit set up. Uh, I want to check the oil on the mower, make sure that it is at the right level, that I don't need to add any more to it, and go from there. All right, talk to you in a bit.
backyard is done like a dinner. Looks like shit. Sweet. These things are awesome. All right, so something else I wanted to do is grab my keys, unlock the Trans Am, see if we can pop that hood and get a look at the valve seals. Or, okay, I actually did lock it. Go team me. And I wanted to This is where the fun begins. Because this hood doesn't always open. Oh, I need my stick. Let me, uh, let me grab my stick. Okay. So the idea is, is oil is seeping past and hitting the headers. And I like that idea because it makes sense. And I bet you it's happening right back there. These things are filthy, eh? Okay, let's try and fire it up. See if maybe we can spot what's going on. Dang it, battery's too low. I need to boost it. Just the boost will do. All right. So the big question is, can we see oil coming out of the car? So here's the thing, I see nothing wrong. Absolutely nothing wrong. Yeah, we get a strong engine. I wonder if it's just the smell of oil burning off the engine or something. I don't know. I don't know too much about it, I'm not a mechanic. But it starts, it runs. It's really got to do something about that suspension. Like as far as my strut towers go, they're still intact. Everything's still intact under the hood. What are we sitting at? Like what, 500 RPM? Yeah. I guess that's already steady. Good. Good to go. Just making sure everything's checked up here. All right, we're good. We're good. Let's, uh, oh yeah, load the mints in. And let's get the frig out of here. Well, it's not burning lots. I don't know, maybe it's just because it's an old car. Yeah, we'll deal with it. I guess, like Church said, if it was the crank seal, I'd have a huge amount of oil on the ground. Even though my driveway is this, you'd still see black underneath the car. It would oil stain rocks and stuff. And it's not, so um, we'll just drive it as it is. When a problem actually does arise and it's big enough to see, then we'll deal with it at that point. Like the steering that I need to get dealt with. Uh, another thing I need to get dealt with is more of a more of a luxury of life, if anything, is the stereo in here. I currently I only have these two front speakers going, the back speakers are currently not installed I don't think I think yeah they're not installed there's like those subwoofers in there but they're garbage and I got some clarions in the house 
as well as well there I got the other one like that in the house and I want to install those the problem is, is I need to run new speaker wire because the speaker wire that goes to the stereo isn't working no problems eh welcome to the old car life but luckily I used to install car stereos for not really a living more of a hobby so I know how to do that that's easy it's just going to be well, luckily I'm not 330 pounds anymore. Because if I was, let me tell you, I couldn't even fit in that damn thing when I was 330 pounds. All right, well, we're done our chewing for the day. So that's pretty awesome. Also, um, turns out this thing here thought I was walking. Well, I was. So uh, something really neat happened. See, when you're mowing your lawn, um, that's what it drew. <laughs> When you go for a walk, like for instance, um, like when I go for my bike rides, it shows me a map, right? Uh, it's just working out. Like it shows me a map, and it shows you where you where you came from, where you went, and then back. It tells you 23 kilometers. Well, apparently, when I was mowing my lawn, it was like, oh, he's going for a walk. Oh, there's a GPS available because my phone was in my pocket. And apparently, I mow my lawn like a spaz. So, okay. I'll take it. All right, well, I want to drink of water, so I'm pretty much done out here. I was going to do the front yard, but, like, seriously, guys, what am I going to do? Mow the seven blades of grass out here? Like, look at this. You know what's sad? I don't even drink this. I don't even drink. Is this food, like, Coke? Yeah. I don't even drink this, and yet it ends up on my yard. Like, there's, let me guess. There's, like, 300... 140 calories in this little can of soda. That's ridiculous. It's only 120 in a scoop of my protein, and at least that's going to be nutritious. Uh, it's one of those bumblebees. But, uh, yeah, there's no point in really caring about this part yet. Oh, there's another one of those panda bees. I don't know if you can see them. I like those ones. They're big, they're fluffy. They're like flying Pomeranians. We'll deal with this another day. I need to seed it, if anything. It's pretty much dead. All right, well, let's button up the uh, the garage. Go in the house, get something to drink, and we'll see what we do. One problem with mowing the lawn, I'm allergic to cut grass. It's a weird thing to be allergic to, but I'm pretty sure it's a common thing too. Could be wrong, but I'm probably right. Wow, don't you live the life. I right, did a little bit of computer work, got the vlog all edited up. up to Look at this salamander. Yeah, mouse. Friggin' stretchy long cat. My goodness. You getting a good suntan? You're gonna turn brown. Yeah, you're funny. Anyway, I got the vlog all edited up, all the footage. We're sitting at 14 minutes on the mother frigger, so that's okay. Had fun editing the uh, lawn mowing part. See if it takes as long as last night. Last night, I shit you not, I started the render before I started the live stream. If anybody tuned in, hey, thanks for coming out. I really appreciate it. But uh, I started the live stream around the same time I started the um, the render. And when I was done the live stream, the damn thing was still rendering. That's exciting. Anyway, I need some food because um, we're gonna be going biking there in a minute. And by a minute, I mean a bit. For you guys, it might be a minute. Because I haven't had a chance to go anywhere to buy an SD card, I found a solution for the biking vids. And the solution is, is not to record at 60 frames per second. See, the higher frame rate stuff is great if you're doing slow-mo, but if you're doing fast-mo, or, you know, time-lapse through the proper term, then slowing down the frame rate doesn't matter because theoretically, uh, when you're time-lapsing something, you're actually going at a reduced frame rate, right? Instead of taking 30 frames per minute, you're probably taking like five. Or in my case, I'm probably taking one frame a minute. So I'm just making some chicken and we're gonna make a protein shake right now because all I had this, sum uh, this summer, wow. Okay, let me try this again. All I had this morning was um, that chicken. And by chicken, I mean the egg. It was like a pre-chicken. So we're sitting around 1.30 right now. Like I said, I'm gonna make myself some chicken sandwiches just to give myself a little bit of fuel for the super long bike ride that we're probably gonna do today. And I'm gonna pet my kitty because she's a little humpback. She's a little humpback kitty. Hey, kitty. 
mess. I wonder what goes on through her little peanut brain when I shove the camera in her face. I wonder if she goes, is this is today the day I eat that? Now what's going on in this guy's brain? He's all like, play, play, play. Eh? Stupid. Oh my goodness. You're way too loud. You're, you're so loud. You're just obnoxiously way too loud. Stop it. Leave me alone. Go away. Stop it. Stop it. We have fun. I don't want to say I'm addicted to these mints, but I think I'm addicted to these mints. Just a slight bit. So I'm just waiting for that to cook. Ah, we'll go see if there's anything else on YouTube. I don't know. We'll see what's going on. All right, for lunch, I'm having two chicken sandwiches with mayo, chicken, a rice cake, and Greek yogurt. Should be good. Bon appetit. All right, guys. So I'm going to try and balance the tan on my arms because, holy crap, do I ever got some whacked out Neapolitan ice cream tan going on right now. Friggin' bottom of the arms are dark, mid arms are red, top of the arms are white. So, happy birthday, I guess. Anyway, after I step around my farm animals here, I got uh, Oreo the sheep and, well, Scampers the carpet. I'm going to take a rip. Actually, I'm going to let the dog out right now because he hasn't been out since... Since I was done mowing the lawn, that was a couple hours ago, so I'm gonna let him out. We're gonna go load the camera on the bike, take a rip down the leaf park, and go have some fun. My goodness, it's so freaking hot out there. I'm gonna grab a, one of my mints, throw it in the bike. Why not? Over there, if I'm out riding and I want some mints, sometimes I like mints. I can have some mints. All right, get full featured. Oh shit, where are my keys? Did I already pocket those? Oh, they're, they're there. All right, let's skedaddle. And I do like my big butts. A storm is coming. Just by the way it feels right now. There's no wind. It's super hot. You, you know, you know, it's coming. There's no if, ands, or buts about it. All right, already steady, good. Uh, good to go. Just making sure everything's checked up here. All right, we're good, we're good. Let's, uh, oh yeah, load the mints in. Let's get the frig out of here.
We made it back with minor damages. <laughs> I don't know if you realize, a couple times I had to get off the bike and straighten the handlebars. Um, that section of woods that we went through, guys, that's a place in North Bay called Laurier Woods. I've never been there before, so that was stupid of me to go there alone. I know this, um, but that's okay, because we didn't die, so sweet. Anyway, I think my battery's dead. Oh yeah, she's flat. Okay, I'm gonna put this on her charge. Oh man, that was an awesome ride, I'm not gonna lie. It was super fun. I went down to go visit my friend. I went to the waterfront, bumped in where you saw that on the video. And then the video picks up where we go riding. And then all of a sudden the video, I'm back at the government dock and you're wondering what the heck's going on. Well, my friend's brand new bike is already giving her troubles. A stupid thing is shifting on its own. Definitely needs an adjustment to the, uh, probably the derailleur, I'd like to say. Anyway, it needs an adjustment somewhere. And when you're pedaling it, if, like, let's say you have the bike on a stand or you're holding it up in the air and you're pedaling it, it's fine. There's no noise. But the moment you take that bike, sit on it, and put any form of pressure on the pedals, cook clunk, cook clunk, cook clunk, cook clunk. Always the same spot too. Pain in the ass. So she was really pissed off and didn't want a bike anymore and I don't blame her because, you know, brand new bike. Shouldn't be giving you troubles right away. This is the reason why I refuse to buy bikes from big box stores. I locked out with that Schwinn. That thing's only giving me problems because I just did stupid things with it. Today. For that, that bike's great. I'm gonna put some upgrades into that bike though. I like it. Oh, I just drank like eight cups of water. It's freaking hot out there right now. It's gotta be 30 degrees C. The Oreo was only out for a couple of seconds and I bet you, yeah, his fur's hot. But anyway. The camera seemed to work out when I changed it from 30 frame or 60 frames to 30 frames. We man I managed to get all the footage without having to cut out a full memory card. Uh, uh, I'm gonna go copy that to the computer and get a render going. <sighs> Nothing like getting lost in Laurier Woods, eh? Craig Seeks. All right, let's see if we can render the footage from the bike ride. Every time I try this, my computer shuts off because it's running too damn hot. Worst case scenario, I'm going to have to take it outside and blow it out. But I took the side panel off and exposed all that, so all the heat should be able to leak out and we should be able to get some fresh air in there. I know, I know. Adam, invest in an air conditioner. They're cheap. They're great. They're also super expensive on hydro, and we only have really two good months of the year where we can use the damn thing. Well, actually, let's see what happens this summer, right? Because last winter was a pretty easy winter, and in 2010, it was a pretty easy winter. 2011? I can't remember now. I think it was 2010. Yeah, 2010. It was 10 years ago. Where it was uh, a weak winter, and then it snowed in May, right before the May 2 4. Like, everything's playing out exactly as it did 10 years ago. Everybody's acting like it's global warming, and they're all just freaking brain dead and have the memory of a goldfish. All this crap happened before. So you watch. We'll get some record-breaking temperatures this summer. All the environmentalists will scream, Ah, global warming! Oh my god, we're gonna die! We need to, like, shut down all the coal and stuff. You know, not that I'm advocating coal plants or anything. What I'm saying is, is they freak out about dumb things and they really shouldn't. Anyway, I really wanted a case of fake beer. So I went off, off to the grocery store and I bought some fake beer. And I also bought some sausage burgers because that's what we're having for supper tonight. We're gonna go out to the garage, drink beers and cook sausage burgers. And I'm gonna kill off my last two buns. Ah, uh, beers and burgers. That's a good time right there. Beers and burgers. Well, hopefully now that the sun's going down, the weather can come down a bit. Because holy crap, plus 30 today is what it hit. Not saying that's abnormal. Just saying, it really sucks when you're trying to render a video and you can't. I need to find an Allen key. I need to fix my bike. Like I said, the handlebars are getting loose from all the bouncing around like a pinata there, so... Where the hell did that really good Allen key go that dad gave me? That's the one I really want. Made some fine adjustments to the bike. I basically rolled the bars back a bit. Originally these here were rolled forward. I rolled them back so when I'm sitting upright, I don't have to lean over so much to grab the bars. It gives more of a comfort ride. Freaking be in here. The next thing I'm about doing is moving this mirror over to the end of the handlebar. See if I can pull that off. Because, um, well it sucks. 
Okay, and the answer to that is hard no, so I just took the damn thing right off. Anyway, got the barbecue going over here, making some burgers. It's gonna be good. They're mild Italian sausage burgers. I don't know, they were on sale for four bucks, so I figured it'd score. You get four of them, so a buck a burger, why not? Good enough, good stuff. Got my phone in the house, normally I bring it out here in case I'm I got a text. So yeah, had a little bit of problems with the bike, but I'm checking it over and you know, she held up pretty good for a $300 bike. Like there was some, I don't know if the camera did it justice. There was some terrain in there that was pretty freaking brutal and everything held up. So $300 fat bike, eh? Holy crap. Buy a $300 mountain bike from freaking Walmart or Canadian Tire and you expect the piece of crap to fall apart if you look at it wrong, but for some reason, this Mongoose Clone Schwinn friggin' Biggity Fat Bike is uh, really holding up. So, that's pretty badass. Now, as mentioned last night on the live stream that I should just do myself a solid sell this thing and buy another bike, one that's more expensive and, you know, better riding and all that. But honestly, I don't want to. I, I love riding this thing. Yeah, it's a pain in the ass. It takes a lot more power to move it around. But, you know what? I can't go one day without riding it where people aren't like, holy crap, look at the tires on that thing, or, well, that's a sweet looking bike, or people actually think it's worth more money than it is. And it's just a dirty Canadian tire bike. Like, <laughs> you know, it, like uh, when I was over at my friend's house today, after we went back, I tried her bike out to see if I could replicate the noise the chain was making, and I could. I don't know if it's the chain of the pedal or what, but it's basically, uh, I could feel it. So I knew there was definitely a problem. Uh, but yeah, like, uh, one of her, uh, neighbors, he has a plus size mountain bike, which is basically, uh, you know, anywhere from, I think it's 2.5 to 3 inch tires. And he saw my bike and he's like, yeah, he goes, uh, he goes, those are sweet. He goes, man, I'd love to have one of those, like with the big tires. And I'm just like, yeah, I picked it up at Canadian Tire for like 300 bucks last year. And he was shocked. He thought I paid more, which is pretty awesome. I think the dead reason why people think it's worth more is because it's got disc brakes. But if you think about it, it kind of has to have ah shit. Kind of has to have disc brakes because I don't think anybody out there makes a V braking system big enough. Jesus, to put on that bike. Toast of my buns. Good old toasted buns for burgers. Degrees. I also bought a salad for tonight because you know rabbit food's good for you. You might as well have rabbit food if you're gonna have a pig that ate it. But I'm actually thinking about putting some upgrades into this. Maybe a new. I was thinking maybe a new stem with the new bars, but I'm gonna try it like this and see how this holds out. Uh, definitely want to upgrade the braking system because these brakes are just abysmal. You know. Uh, you can buy like a Shimano um, hydraulic braking system off of Amazon for like 60 bucks and it'll give you tons more uh, tons more stopping power another thing I was thinking about doing was putting the mega range on it <clears throat> like I got it in first gear now and first gear I can get around pretty easily like I can climb pretty much everything that I've tried so far and I don't have much problem I haven't tried Thompson Hill yet that's gonna be done we are going to do that one. You, unless you live in North Bay, you have no idea what I'm talking about. But if you live in North Bay, you know what Thompson Hill is. We're going to try and climb it on Fatty. Why not? Like, the only real problems I had today were in the trail system. When I came to a dead stop. And I had to take off going uphill over top of some pretty questionable terrain. And I call it questionable terrain because it was rocky, bumpy just garbage and I'm not really a professional trail rider I would even call myself an amateur trail rider I'd call myself a newbie trail rider if anything literally the only reason why I went in there is I remember my buddy at work was talking about it actually um, struck has mentioned it first um, Laurier Woods and because him and his old lady went there this one time and they had, uh, they went just for a walk through. He didn't go on his bike, I don't think. And I was like, oh, how are they for biking trails? And he said, oh, they're probably really good, but they're really hilly. You really got to put a lot of power into it. And I was like, okay, well, sweet. 
All right, that was only a one burger cook job. Sweet. Or one burger. My goodness, one beer. I'm going to head her inside. But yeah, it was Strakas who mentioned going to... Uh, I'm going to be up there too. I'm going to have to raid bomb this damn garage probably. But uh, he was already mentioned going to the Laurier Woods. And last night for fun, I looked it up on YouTube to see if there's any videos on it. And the only video I could find was one from, well, the CFB. I think that's like, I don't know what the hell that is. And then my buddy Blake, he put out a video... Uh, is Laurier Woods haunted because that's one of the haunted spots in North Bay and there's claims that uh, joggers who've jogged through there at night have been chased by spectral figures and things have came out of the water and keep in mind it's a conservation land there is wildlife in there the whole time I was riding I saw snakes like everywhere which really kind of freaked me out but you know just keep your eye on the prize and get the hell out of there and you know you'll be fine but snakes usually leave you alone Unless you find a fox snake. Fox snakes are stupid. They're like, oh look, a human. Let's go see what they're doing. And then the human freaks out and kills it. Which is illegal in Canada because they're endangered. But anyway, um, burgers are cooked. I'm going to get the frig out of here. Go in the house and uh, eat. Let's go. Okay, burgers. Salad. Down the face hole. Holy crap. Ugh, everything's sore, people. You know what? I'm going to go for a freaking shower. I feel gross. All right, well, well, I'm gonna go for a shower. I'm gonna get this vlog all rendered up and ready to rock, so it's gonna go downstairs and close up. We might as well just do it in this noisy air tunnel of a room. Gotta do something to get the friggin' heat out of here. Jesus, Murphy, it's like a sauna. Thanks for watching, hopefully you enjoyed today's video. Yes, we did get lost in the woods, and yes, we did make it out. Look, I'm in my house, obviously I made it out. Currently sitting at 3,400 calories gone on the day. Feels all right, feels pretty tight. All we did today was bike and mow a lawn, so good times. Tomorrow's going to be Thunderbangers. Don't know what the hell I'm going to do with myself. We'll figure it out. But as for today, I'm shutting her down. I'm going to go live on YouTube, play some scrap mechanic, and uh, pick this back up tomorrow. So, any people, on that note, thanks for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you did, click the like button. Any questions, comments, concerns, down below they go. Hopefully we don't have any more overheating issues with the computer, and uh, we can get these vlogs pumped out easily. Uh, like, favorite, comment. Don't forget to subscribe. And until next time... Piece of frig out. Sit, stupid, sit. Good dog.